So. Well, I had to be on today and I, we're talking about my favorite mm -hmm. subject, dreams. You know, that's my thing. Um, and uh, I am happy to talk about Makeaway too, because something exciting is going to happen next year. Mm -hmm. Makeaway Media is going to turn 10 years old. And I can't believe, I miss you too. I can't believe that Makeaway Media is going to be 10 years old because it did, it just started as an idea. I was an in-home therapist and I was working with kids and I love to use books in therapy um, because a lot of times kids won't talk to you about what's going on in their world or, you know, adults will sit on your couch and they'll uh, spill everything to you, but kids don't communicate the same way. So sometimes you have to use play therapy or I would use books to to talk with children and we would read a story and maybe the character in the book would have a problem and a child would say, you know, well, that's dumb. That's not how I would handle that problem. So they won't tell you what's going on in their mind, but they'll make a comment like that. And then you can say, oh, okay, well, how would you handle mm -hmm. the, and I noticed when I was using therapy, if I had books with characters who looked like the children I was working with, that they were way more into the book, way more interested and invested in the story and way more talkative, um, which, you know, talking is therapy. That's the way we work out our problems. So um, books with diverse characters help me in therapy. And that's how I got started almost 10 years ago. So we're going to have a big party all next year. And it all started with a dream just to have more diverse books then to write my own books uh, which was something I always wanted to do but just never really took the time to sit down and do so I finally took the time to sit down and do it um, and then here we are 10 years later 17 books later a whole Broadway dream later so we're working on getting one of the series I've written to Broadway um, and a whole team Thank you for being part of this wonderful Makeaway team, a whole team later. Um, I'm, I couldn't be happier with the work that we're doing. And thank you for the comment. Love what y'all do. Thank yeah. you. And we appreciate you being on here to, because yeah. I think, I know for me, that's what kind of keeps me going is when I see, see how people are reacting and that this is making a difference to people. And it is such a pleasure to get to work with you. I feel so blessed to have, to have this opportunity. And I'm curious, you know, you talk about you had this dream and how now we're about to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of that dream coming true. What gave you the motivation? Cause there's so many people that have dreams and they just don't know, either they don't know how to do it or they just don't have the belief that it can happen. And so they don't take that first step. What was it for you that gave you that motivation? We live in a culture where I believe our dreams are, are crushed intentionally because we need work these. Everybody can't follow their dreams because then we won't have people that support the infrastructure, which for some people, um, I met a little, the cutest little kid who wanted to be a garbage man and his mom was a little embarrassed by that mm -hmm. because most of the time you hear kids say, I wanna be a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher or, or author um, or movie star, NBA player. Those are all the types of things that you usually hear. And this little guy said he wanted to be a garbage man. And I told his mom, don't be embarrassed by that. That's a beautiful dream. Um, but that that is a reason why I think our society kind of sometimes puts limits on what we can do. Um, because we are supposed to have people who don't dream too big because we need people in all aspects of society. Um, but I think that people should not listen to anyone who tells you that your dreams are too big. In fact, the old quote is, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Mm -hmm. So dream big. Doesn't mean you have to start big. Just take small steps towards your dream. Do something every day. I don't care if it's go to the library and check out a book on a subject that you need uh, to learn more about your dream or to email someone who you think um, is an interesting person and maybe doing something similar to what you want to do and ask them how they got started. You'd be surprised by how many people will write you back, especially if you have very specific questions. If you just contact them and don't really know what you're asking, you might not get a response back. But if you 
have a very specific question like, hey, uh, I'm interested in being an author too. And I just wonder, how did you get started? Can you give me three tips that'll keep me going when I get discouraged? And a lot of times people will respond to you and write back and answer those questions. Um, but, you know, it all just starts with an idea. Um, that's where the most successful businesses come from. When somebody identifies a need, like I did when I was working with these beautiful kids in therapy, and um, and then doing the work, you know, it's it's not magic. It's not like hitting the lotto overnight. Um, putting in the work and becoming the expert in what you do, and the more you learn and the more you become the expert in what it is you want to do, um, the more fuel that it give you for your dream. Eventually, you'll get to a place where people can't tell you anything because you're the expert in what you are doing and so that gets rid of a lot of that self that self-doubt in your head but it's worth it it's worth having a dream and it's worth following if there's anybody who's watching this right now and you have a dream and you think that you cannot do it um i want you to reach out and join like an entrepreneur incubator um, there are a lot of cities that have entrepreneur groups that don't cost any money at all, where you can be surrounded by people who are also following their dreams. You can't live with haters and you can't share your dream with everybody because people will sometimes crush your dream. Um, but become the expert in what you're doing and nothing kills self-doubt like becoming the expert in uh, the field that you want to be in. Um, those are my top tips for following your dreams. And those are some of the things that I did. But we're also having a big day today. I have to throw this out there before I get off. Um, today is Give for Good Louisville. Makeaway Media is based in Louisville, Kentucky, even though our team is all over the country. Um, but Makeaway Media is based in Louisville, Kentucky. And today is Give for Good Louisville. If you go in the Makeaway Media uh, Instagram story or my story or the Louisville Book Festival story, you'll find the link. And we really just need people to give as little as $10 because this Gift for Good campaign has all kinds of bonuses and all kinds of prizes you can win within um, the Gift for Good. So it's not just about donations, but we can win um, money to continue to do the good work that we're doing, um, highlighting literacy and celebrating a love of reading with Makeaway Media and the Louisville Book Festival if you donate to Gift for Good today i see i don't i didn't put my comments on uh, my glasses on because i was trying to look cute um so, <laughs> the glasses, sorry. glasses are cute too though i have to say your yes. time to shelby or mine i am so happy um, to hear from shelby shelby is so wonderful she's right here um locally with me and she's just been so wonderful especially over at louisville book festival so shelby i want to give you a shout out thank you so much we just met on Instagram, Shelby, that's how me, Leanna and I met too. That's true. Um, so I met a lot of cool people on social media. Um, so I want to give Shelby a shout out because Shelby um, didn't ask for anything from us and she's been willing to help us over at Little Book Festival. So I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate social media friends like Leanna and Shelby. Yes, and thank you for mentioning, for reminding us about the, um, the opportunity to donate. I mean, if you want to make your dollars go towards something that does good. Mm -hmm. This is a really great opportunity. And like you said, it doesn't even have to be very much. I mean, most of us, $10 doesn't really make that much difference, but it really adds up and it really makes a difference in yeah. being able to promote literacy, diverse children's books. I mean, this is really making an impact in the lives of children, which is really what it's all about. Thank you. It is. That's what it's all about. <laughs> And, and, and I think Makeaway Media and the Louisville, Louisville Book Festival, those are such great examples of making dreams come true. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that you mentioned the, the example about the, the kid who wanted to be a garbage yeah. man. Because I think one of the problems, like you said, we need worker bees, but we don't value them. Right. I mean, we kind of had a little moment where we did during the pandemic when we really realized that yeah. they are essential workers. And I don't know if that's really lasted, but I think one of the problems is that sometimes we crush dreams because we don't think they're they're, yeah. they're not something that's maybe valued by society which we need to just focus on what its value is to us what we know it is mm -hmm. but um also like you said a lot of times i think even parents and teachers do it with good intentions because we don't want our kids to be disappointed yes yeah but yeah. we have to allow them to be disappointed maybe they're maybe that particular dream they had when they were a kid 
maybe it won't come true in exactly the way they've articulated it when they're five years old. But as, as you have mentioned, like there's some kernel there that maybe is, is something that might evolve as they get older. So, yeah. and we're, you know, that's something that they can, that we can nurture that, that kind of impulse and that curiosity and ha kind of help them along in that journey rather than just crushing it from the start. Like you say, you really have to surround yourself by, um, with positive people that are going to help you out yeah. and inspire you. Definitely. And that's why Makeaway Media tries to be so positive all the time. Um, we know that there's negative in the world. Um, so, you know, we're not toxically positive where we don't realize that people are facing very real problems. And so we do talk about that too, you know, how to help people with some issues in life. There's a video right now that was just shared yesterday on Makeaway Media that's giving tips on how to overcome some challenges. But we too, do try to stay positive because there is just so much negativity in the world and negativity is not gonna help you at all. Um, there's just no room for negativity in my life. I do hear the practical, real things that are going on in the world. But one of the reasons why Makeaway is called Makeaway is because I don't wanna just be presented with the problem. If you're gonna present a problem to me, tell me what to do with it, or let's work together on how to fix it. I don't wanna sit in problems. And I do believe that there is a way around every problem. You have to make a way. And I don't mean to just use those three words like that's just the simple answer. I understand that people are up against all kinds of obstacles in life, but I also do know there is a way to get around obstacles. So like I do in my therapy career, if I have someone comes into the office and they just want to commiserate, you know, they just want to sit in that. I ask, you know, I say, okay, we'll sit in this for a couple of weeks because that's where you are and we'll acknowledge it and we'll feel it and we'll deal with it. But after that, we're going to move on to where do you want to be? Because you just get stuck in life. You can't, you have to, no matter what your circumstances are, you have to use that negative incident that you've had in your life as a building block. And you have to build from that. And as with most negative things in your life, um, pressure sharpens, uh, pressure forms diamonds, pressure sharpens diamonds. Um, problems are really, you know, pearls are really uh, things that have irritated uh, an oyster. and those those problems um, irrit irritate an oyster and then the oyster produces a pearl. So we have to think about life like that. Life is filled with problems. I think it's funny sometimes my, my kids that are my therapy clients, they can't wait to be an adult because they really believe that adults don't have problems because from a kid's point of view, all of a child's problems, if you think about it, are related to adults. Mm. If there were no adults in the child's life, they'd have no problems. So they wouldn't have homework. They wouldn't have chores. They wouldn't get yelled at. So kids think that adults are the source of all their problems. And if they just become an adult, they won't have any more problems, which I find hilarious because that's when all the problems start, right? <laughs> that's when the really start when you become an adult. So we all have problems and you have to acknowledge that and you have to acknowledge the problems as real hurdles, but you can't live in that. You can't live in that. And life, you know, I know it's a cliche, but life is just too short to live in negativity or be surrounded by negativity. Um, so we try to inspire people to see life from a different viewpoint. We try to remind people of how beautiful life really can be so that you have the energy and the fuel you need to follow your dreams. Well, that is a great note to end on. And thank you everybody for joining us. As we always say, we try to keep it short and sweet because we know you're busy, but we wanna give you that little uplifting moment out of your week and that kind of fuels you until we can see you again next Thursday. So, um, don't forget uh, to follow us and to, and to come back every Thursday, usually 1 p.m. Eastern, but watch for any announcements and go to our stories to see how you can donate. And thank you, it's always so great to talk with you.
Thank you. It's wonderful to talk to you. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. We appreciate you. Look for all kinds of cool stuff in 2024 because we're going to party really big at Michael. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait for it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye.